to check first check the we have to first check the reliability of the constructs so for the reliability of the constructs we will go to analyze and then we will go to scale and reliability analysis here we have to check the cronback alpha value of each construct and uh, here uh, uh, for the first con construct employee performance ep i am going to check the reliability so you will shift these six items into the item box in the statistics uh, you have to check the scale if item deleted and then you can continue and okay and you can look at the results of the reliability statistics so we can find there the cronback alpha value is 0.965 which is above 0.7 and it is acceptable we can also see that uh, what are the uh, what what is the cronback alpha if we delete the particular item and we can find there uh, all if we delete any item we are going to get the cronback alpha value above 0.9 and we already have 0.965 which is above the threshold value of 0 0.6 0 0.7 actually so it is already acceptable for the other constructs we are again going to run the reliability analysis and uh, uh, the second construct we have the transformational leadership and for that we have seven items and i have run the reliability statistics for that it is 0.978 it is also acceptable above the threshold value of 0 0.7 then for the third construct, uh, the third construct is employee engagement, and we have the item EE1 to EE8 for the employee engagement. I'm going to check the Cronbeck Alpha value for that, and again it is uh, 0.983. It is very high, however acceptable because it is greater than 0.7. And then for the next construct, the last construct we have the independent variable employee satisfaction and uh, it has seven items so i have selected and uh, i have run the cronback alpha for these seven items also and uh, here we can see the reliability statistics is 0 0.964 and it is also at the uh, acceptable uh, acceptable level in fact it is much greater than the threshold value of 0.7 so uh, as far as the reliability of the data is con uh, concerned and the reliability of the constructs is concerned all the constructs are reliable enough for the further analysis now what we are going to do we are going to uh, average out the items of the particular construct to have a single value single value single computed value for the variable which is the which is going to be the average value for each construct so let's average out the things just uh, go to the data view to look at the things how we have the things in our data set so again we have the employee performance as the dependent variable first we are going to do the computation for this for that you have to go into the transform and then you have to go to compute variable in compute variable you have to give the name to the target target variable which you are going to calculate so the name of our target variable is employee performance so let's type here the name for that employee performance okay and uh, we have to average out the items for that so we have put the parenthesis bracket ep1 plus ep2 plus ep3 plus ep4 plus ep5 plus ep6 and divided by number of items so here we have total number six items we have divided by six and okay uh, okay we have uh, some okay we have some issue that is i have forgotten the divide sign so we can put it from here okay and let's go ahead and uh, we can see in the output that compute x emp performance is my employee performance and uh, it is average of uh, item ep1 to ep6 and uh, in the same way we are going to do the average for other three constructs we will go to the compute variable for that uh, for the next variable we have the transformational leadership to trans lead i give the name trans lead and i'll put the parenthesis over here then tl1 plus tl2 plus tl3 plus tl4 plus tl5 plus 
Tl6 plus Tl7 and divided by 7. And we have done with the average of transformational leadership. So in the same way we are going to do the compute variable for other two constructs. Uh, employee engagement for employee engagement EE1 plus EE2 plus EE3 plus EE4 plus EE5 plus EE6 plus E7 plus E8 and divided by 8. In the same way, the last construct employee satisfaction for employee satisfaction we have ES1 plus ES2 plus ES3 plus ES4 plus ES5 and we have ES6 and 7 and divided by number of items and here we have number of items 7 and we have computed the values for all four constructs if you want to see uh, we, we have to go to the data view and here we can see that employee performance the dependent variable is available here, the average values for that, the average values for the transformational leadership, employee engagement and employee satisfaction. Now what we are going to do, we are going to uh, run the correlation analysis for that and then later we are going to do the regression analysis. So let's